Hello everyone, I'm Show Smooth, and welcome to another edition of All Sports right here on Spartan Television. This is where you can get your national, local, and campus sports right here on your very own channel. We call that Spartan Television. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get everything underway, all right? Coach Bobby Knight has decided to call it quits as head coach of the Texas Tech Red Raiders. He says that he's tired and that coaching is not fun anymore. Knight has been coaching for 42 years now and has accumulated 902 wins, the most in men's Division I history. Knight will uh, be succeeded by his son, Pat Knight, at the Texas Tech. Good luck, coach, and thank you for all of the memories that you've given us, including throwing chairs and choking people out. The UNC versus Duke rivalry kicked off on February 4th when the Lady Tar Heels visited, visited the Lady Blue Devils and won 93-76. Latoya Pringle, Erlena Larkins, and Rashonda McCants all scored in double figures to lead the Lady Tar Heels, unfortunately, to the big win. Let's move on, please. Can you believe that the Giants won the Super Bowl? Sheesh. The New York Giants won the Super Bowl 17-14 against the highly favored New England Patriots. The disappointed New England Patriots had a chance to be 19-0, undefeated, but lost the most important game and ended up being 18-1. That one really sucks. Quarterback Tom Brady, Brady and wide receiver Randy Moss have both decided to forego the Super Bowl to nurse their injuries. I personally think that they're afraid of the media and the media attention that will be on this. Chad Johnson from uh, the Cincinnati Bengals will replace Moss and Derek Anderson from the Cleveland Browns will take Tom's place in the Pro Bowl. For more information on campus sports teams, make sure you log on to uncgspartners.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. I am Show Smooth. Make sure you guys listen to WAG 103.1 FM because it's just a great channel, all right? See you guys later. About to see you later. Peace. Full of noisy roommates or limited hours of operation around campus are your reason for not studying. You might want to start looking for a new excuse. UNCG's Jackson Library is now open 24 hours a day, Sunday through Thursday, beginning at 11.45 p.m. Students may enter the library with their UNCG First card and use of any of the first floor facilities, although the Super Lab is only open until 3 a.m. Students can now pull in all-nighters in, in a safe and distraction-free environment. As always, students are encouraged to walk in pairs and from places at night, and to take advantage of the emergency phones located throughout campus. Many a and students are facing extreme financial difficulty because of late-issued refund checks. Some students are even facing eviction because of the delay and have had to go to court. A&T spring classes began January 7th with checks going out February 1st. These refunds are money from loans, scholarships, and grants left over after tuition costs are paid. UNCG students started receiving their checks on January 10th, four days before classes began. UNCG's Director of Financial Aid said many schools want at least 10 days to ensure students are still enrolled before refunding money. A&T is looking to improve its entire registration process, including how money is returned to students. These changes are set to take place by fall 2008. Well, let's take a look at what's going on in the music world with Jay Mace and this week's music beat. Hey, Jay Mace, anything on the Super Bowl <laughs> halftime show? That was a good one. <laughs> John O'Hurley, eat your heart out. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Jay Mace, with the music beat right here on Spartan TV, where you get to hear the best music news from a constant perspective. Now let's go ahead and get this show started. As far as her parents are concerned, Britney Spears needs to be shielded from the folks in her entourage and from herself. With Britney under observation in the psych ward of the UCLA Medical Center, Jamie and Lynn Spears headed to a Los Angeles courtroom Friday to obtain a legal order empowering them to make decisions on her behalf. A judge ruled that Jamie Spears, the conservator of, her of his daughter's estate, meaning that he has control over everything related to her from finances, medical records, etc. Also, Britney's stay has been extended to 14 more days. Let's hope she can get it together. That indeed. And Yahoo is dropping this subscription music service and replacing it with, rap with Rhapsody. 
America. Boom. Try to say that three times fast. A competing service operated by Real Networks and MTV Networks. As a part of the deal, Yahoo will exclusively promote Rhapsody on its site and integrate the service into Yahoo Music. The two plans to collaborate on other digital music services such as music downloads. It's a broad strategic partnership announced Monday by the two companies. Yahoo and Real Network said the process of transferring subscriptions from Yahoo Music Unlimited to Rhapsody will start mid-year and will be painless. Let's hope so before somebody loses it and decide to download off LimeWire or any other P2P website so don't get caught by the RRAA. Don't say I didn't warn you. And sad to say that the Spice Girls World Tour has been cut short and they're not hitting South for the winter or East for that matter. The Comeback Quintet announced Friday that their World Tour will wrap later this month oh, and that dates in China down under Australia, South Africa, and Argentina have been canceled. Sadly, the tour needs to come to an end and by the end of February due to family and personal commitments for Emma, Jerry, Mel B, and Mel C. Also Victoria, the lady said in a joint statement on their website. Well, it was good while it lasted and girl power will still live on. Yes, it will. And of course you know what it is, know the ledge time. This year marks the 25th silver anniversary of the landmark album Thriller by Michael Jackson. And to celebrate the occasion, a 25th anniversary edition will be released. Artists like Will I Am, Kanye West, Fergie, and Akon taking their favorite songs by the King of Pop and giving them an 08 twist. In the U.S. alone, this album sold an astonishing 27 million copies and still counting. Number two best-selling album of all time. It is still amazing to believe that 25 years later, Kids who weren't around for his heyday knows the words heart by heart, and come on now, come on. Who didn't do the infamous or famous thriller dance? I'm not even gonna try it. Stop lying, you know you did, and you had to beat the jacket with the glove and with the sock, and hopefully you didn't have a jerry curl and got your hair on fire like you did back in the day. But you can't deny the influence of that album, and that's why Thriller is an album that's in a class by itself. It definitely holds up, album top to bottom, I'm just lost for words. That's how good Thriller is. Until next time, Music Beat, Spawn TV, Time Machine, 1031. Check it out. Not just any channel, our channel. Next week. Peace. All right, let me do Race the Roof like it's 1998. Yay. Maybe next week. I may do. I may do. Well, when the party crowd at UNCG showed up to their favorite hotspot last week, chances are they were disappointed. The popular bar and club Rum Runners, located downtown on Elm Street, is closed. And when they will reopen, it remains to be seen. Those looking for a good time are not greeted with thumping music and flashing lights, as usual. I know I've looked forward to it, but with a boarded up sign on the door that explained the sudden closing. The North Carolina Department of Revenue shut down Rum Runners because the club owes them almost $17,000 in back state and employee withholding tax. You're kidding. If the owners do not co cooperate with the revenue service, rum runners will be inventoried and sold in a public auction. While the flyer explained the situation, many college students were left upset and wondering when, if at all, rum runners would resume business. The Obie Award winning episodic play, The Vagina Monologues, will be presented Thursday through Saturday, February 14th through the 16th at 7.30 p.m. Performances will be held in the Elliott University Center Auditorium. While admission is free, a donation of $5 is suggested with all proceeds going to the Clara House, Greensboro's shelter and resources for survivors of domestic violence. The play features UNCG faculty, students, alumni, and staff. The Vagina Monologues explore the spectrum of female sexuality from pleasure to childbirth and rape. Women of every age and from more than 112 countries and 112 college campuses have performed the play. To date, performances of, of the Vagina Monologues have raised more than $35 million for programs designed to end violence against women. Well, that wraps things up for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Quick programming note, we'll have Chancellor Sullivan on the week of February 29th, and we will do a whole wrap-up special of Super Tuesday that's going on right now as we take uh, all, all that's coming up next week. Uh, Barack Obama did it in Georgia today. I'm pretty happy about that. But for the latest in you, it's going to be great for me. It's going to be every week.